Hey everyone, I'm the Exalt High, and here's a guide on how to build Legault. He's a pretty cool guy, I mean look at that scar on his eye. This guide is going to go through his stats, potential skills, allies, counters, usage in game modes, and then builds. As always, if you enjoyed, subscribe and consider checking out my other content. Keep in mind that during this video, I'm assuming that you are considering building and investing into Legault, and that you might be willing to sacrifice some expensive skills to him. Now then, let's get started. Gotta fight dirty. Legault the Hurricane is a colorless dagger infantry unit. Let's take a look at his stats. At base, Legault has fantastic speed of 38, and that's about all the good he has. 31 attack is very low, and he's going to struggle with dealing good damage. It's probably best to get an attack boon on him because he's really going to need it. His defense and res aren't good either, especially that res of 19. His HP isn't that high either, so his physical and magical bulk isn't that good. So what about plus 10? Well, his defensive res is still not that good, but 28 defense is workable, and 44 HP helps out with this too. His speed keeps on being good, and 36 attack is much better. He might actually be able to deal damage. At plus 10, Lego should be built with the idea of fast offense. His defenses aren't good enough to consider running a more defensive set. His speed doesn't need too much investment, but it's still good to buff, just to ensure that you can double or work past close call and repel. And versus those skills, Legault needs all the speed he can get to prevent lowering his already low damage. I'm going to separate plus 10 stats from plus 10 and max dragonflower stats since getting 15 dragonflowers is not the easiest. But if you can get it, oh, Legault will love it. Getting plus 3 to all stats benefits him very well. While it's not the best thing, he can consider running a bit more of a defensive build. 39 attack and 46 speed is a great offensive spread, which pushes most of his builds into offensive builds, most likely player phase. An important thing I want to mention is that he can run a more supportive build since he's a dagger unit, which gives him lots of options to debuff. And thanks to that high speed, he won't get doubled often, which helps his survivability. If only he has some defense or res to help out a bit more. There are other colorless dagger infantry units who do have better stats and a personal weapon like Kronia or Layla. Gangrel at base stats is a power creep to Legault. The only way to salvage that is Legault with max dragonflyers. He gets 15 while Gangrel has a limit of 10. Before I continue the skills, I want to quickly cover his stat changes when he has an IV. Uh, it sucks that if you get a plus attack boon, it takes away from speed and vice versa, but that's just how IVs work and we just have to deal with that. And here's a max dragonflyers. To be honest, even though plus attack takes away from speed a bit, 41-45 is still really good. And for Legault, he's going to need any bit of attack. For skills, he doesn't have any personal skills, he's yet to obtain or refine, which he could really use. But the Cleaner Plus is still really good, and it works against units who rely on bonuses. Kinda like Nino. Uh, Legault, what are you trying to imply here? Anyways, it gives a solid attack buff, which Legault could use. Glimmer is a weird special because it works best on high attack units, which Legault is not. So use Mubo for similar cooldowns or Luda instead. Swift Strike is alright, and Attack Tactic is fairly nice. For budget builds, you can just keep the Cleaner and Attack Tactic. Tactic skills are great for supporting allies, and speaking of allies, here are some that can help Legault. Attack buffers are amazing. There are plenty of units who have insane defense, and Legault can't put a scratch on them. So consider bringing a high power unit like Lazithia to make things easier. Plus, she benefits from the foes getting their res debuff. Legault doesn't have good physical or magical bulk, so consider bringing a unit who does. For counters, high power units like Krom are a problem, because honestly, he doesn't care if you have higher speed or you double him, because if you don't have good HP and defense, you're just cannon fodder in his eyes. Brave Dimitri has a new skill called Attack Defense Unity, which takes attack defense penalties and then doubles them as bonuses for a positive net total. You are making him stronger with Legault's dagger debuffs. And that gets worse if you do that to Fallen Ike, whose Chaos Ragnell has the same effect but for all stats. Imagine hitting him with the Smoke Dagger debuff, which is minus 6 to all stats. Plus, Ike has Repel and consistent ways of increasing his speed, so that just hurts Legault even more. So what about usage in certain game modes? In Arena, he's going to need C Dual Infantry to help with scoring. That does take away his A slot, which could be used for other offensive A skills. Also, Ruptured Sky can work for the expensive special. I'll go into that a little bit later. In Arena, there's a high chance you might find high defense units, which Legault will struggle directly. 
but indirectly with his debuffs, he can be very helpful. He doesn't have the extra power since he doesn't have a personal weapon like Kronia. Overall, I think if you like him, then he'll do fine in Arena, mainly for support rather than a big offensive threat. Unless he runs one of these seasonal daggers like Cloud Myogi or Lethal Carrot. Those will make him an offensive threat, but counterplay to that is kind of common. In Aether Raids, I think he'll do just fine as a bonus unit and probably just a support unit. He can debuff Omni Tanks, which makes it easier to take them out. He could bait a hit from a Dazzling Stop healer. He doesn't have good res, but he does have the speed to avoid a double, and that damage can help him get into desperation range. For defense, I don't think he'll be as good as other dagger units. He does have the same utility like Dancer units, or Summer Mia slash Racina's Harmonize skill, or Kagro's Dart Refine, or just Air. He's good for smoke dagger debuffs, but Saizo can also do that. His usage in AR is alright. If anything, you could run Dusk Uchiwa for the Kaori effectiveness and no C Disrupt to take down Brave Veronica. For story content, like many units, he'll do well in Lunatic Challenges. He is an offensive player phase unit, which is nice in long battles, but once their stats start getting inflated like that HP, his attack might drag him down in usefulness. He does bring Dagger debuffs to help secure the win against strong foes, but it's also Air who's free to play and is incredibly good. She has the Dagger debuff, Magic Tanking, a personal weapon that helps with offense, and a nice support skill of Sparkling Boost. But she is a 5 star exclusive unit and only available through certain banners, so plus 10 Lego might offer more than a plus 0 air. Now for some builds. Fury, Life and Death, and Sospero are pretty standard for his player phase oriented stat line. Most of these are also really cheap. Seals can be anything as long as it helps. Flash and Blade is interesting since it can help get Moonbow on his second hit. Raising attack speed can easily be reached with Fury Recoil and it boosts his damage. Normally, I don't do how to build videos for units who don't have refines, but a common ask for Lego, so yeah. I hope Lego doesn't get refined for a bit so this video can say a little bit relevant. But in the case that he does, let's talk about it. If it's an offensive refine like, I don't know, plus 10 damage when he uses special or brazen attack speed, you can run these same sets like the ones in front of you. It could be a unique refine, or maybe it just copies Sizzle Refine where he takes the penalties of his foes and uses them for his advantage. Or it could be the Red Hot Ducks, except it would be an actual knife and not a duck. Those can be mixed with different skills, but in general they follow an offensive approach. Maybe they give him a damage reduction similar to Spurn, or maybe Kagro's Refine. In those cases, if it's Spurn, you just buff speed, and for Kagro, you can just follow her builds. Honestly, I do think it's going to be an offensive refine, maybe similar to Jafar with a Deathly Dagger. Well for now, you can consider using other daggers instead of the cleaner. For these offensive builds, the Lethal Carrot is wonderful. Dealing an extra plus 10 damage when these special triggers is great for Legault who could really use that extra damage. It also pairs well with that Flashing Blade set. There's also the Barb Shuriken which accelerates the special trigger which helps Legault use his special more often. You can either proc the special every combat with Moonbow, or you could use the Flash and Blade set with Luna. There's also Pumpkin and Box, which has Fury built in. You can stack it with Fury in the A slot or pair it with another A skill so you can use the Recoil for Desperation. Unfortunately, the sad thing about Fury is that it gives plus 3 to all stats. Lego doesn't really need all of those stats, so it's not super useful compared to Life and Death or Swiss Sparrow. Another good dagger choice is the Red Hot Ducks. It gives them bonus damage based on difference in speed stats. That's something LEGO has a lot of. You can also combo it with Phantom Speed Seal so you can get the max bonus of 7 damage. Any amount of damage for LEGO is helpful. Also, if you don't run into Fallen Ike or Brave Dimitri a lot, then you can run Smoke Dagger without being scared of accidentally buffing them. Let's get to some builds. If you have other thoughts or builds for LEGO, feel free to comment them down below. Thanks to that amazing speed, Lego can run Water Sweep and pair it with the Kitty Paddle so you can slay magic units very well. We've got a lot of powerful offensive mages who don't have good defense so even Lego could take them out. Null Sea Disrupt isn't too common on magic units compared to melee units which helps out Water Sweep's viability. Unfortunately, Kitty Paddle doesn't have a refine and is harder to obtain so you can rely on another dagger to do the job. Barb Shuriken helps get the special prop faster, which can help take out magic units if not super effective damage. Second build features Wind Sweep instead of Water Sweep. Same idea of using that amazing speed to take on foes. We have a lot of high speed threats, so consider running Swiss Power 3. 
Lethal Carrot does extra damage, which might be needed to deal enough damage against them. There is the Poison Dagger, which is super effective against infantry units, but it has low might, which might be a problem with Leg Ult. Ruptured Sky uses the Foe's attack against them. Lots of those high speed units also have good attack, so that's just more damage for Leg Ult. Speaking of sweep skills, there's a certain dagger that could work with them. Pegasus Carrot neutralizes effects that prevent the unit's follow up attacks during combat. This does neutralize Wind Sweep and Water Sweep's effect of preventing Leg Ult from making a follow up. But here's the problem. It only works if you have the Weapon Triangle Advantage, which Legault can't have as a colorless unit. So he can't use his dagger to synergize with Windsweep to stop the foe's counterattack while being able to double. I don't think he has access to a skill that gives him Weapon Advantage. Just so you know, Spring Paula here is a red dagger unit, so she can use his dagger and Windsweep. This is kinda cruel. A lot of colorless dagger units can use Wind Sweep really well, and having access to it while neutralizing its negative effect can be really helpful for their viability. Pegs' Carrot is also super effective against armor units, and while not all dagger units can make really good use of that, it's still super helpful. Okay, build 3, up close and personal. An enemy phase build will close foil and one turn cooldown Moombo will barb shuriken. Leg ult rallies and then debuffs will ruse, when the foe attacks, he gets a buff from Close Foil, and after one hit, he can proc Moombo and maybe double. Smoke skills can debuff incoming foes who weren't hit by Ruse, but you can replace with other smokes. Personally, I don't really like enemy phase builds for Leg Alt since he doesn't have the best defense to take hits or the attack to one-shot foes. That's why I'm recommending attack debuffs and quick special procs to help him with his defense and damage. Fourth build is another offensive build using Starfish for Desperation, so Legault can run low speed defense to increase his doubles and damage. Raising attack speed HP condition works well with Starfish, and it adds on to attack speed solo for some high offensive, high speed action. It's a simple offensive build that tries to fix his attack. For Ether Rays in arena purposes, you could run no follow up or no seed disrupt to take on Brave Veronica. There's only room for one debuffer in this crazy floating island. Anyways, it's simple and sort of expensive, but if you love Leg Alt, then it might be worth it. These two builds I didn't know how to make into full build things, but they're good options to consider. Cloud Mayogi is effective against dragons, and it can stop Vantage dragons. Mystic Boost might not be the best choice because Leg Alt has lower res and it will just target it normally, but it can help if you get res buffs, it can also heal you afterwards, which can help as well. Sky Mayogi is effective against armor units, and Leg Alt isn't a bad choice for it. If that armor unit happens to have disencounter, then low attack defense can lessen that damage. I actually ran into a Leg Alt with this build, and he almost killed my brave Edelgard. Yeah, so this build does work. I hope he gets a refine. Well, not too soon. I think we're getting Chuja Legends 2 refines coming soon, so he can get it after that. I just realized that means that Brave Veronica is getting buffed, and uh, that's just going to be super interesting and fun. I sure hope her refine doesn't neutralize no seed disrupt because that would be BS. Anyways, thanks for watching, subscribe, leave a like, and comment down your thoughts or builds for Leg Alt. There were things that I didn't cover. You can also find me and talk to me on Twitter at exalt underscore Thai. I post updates for upcoming videos there. With all that, stay hydrated folks, and stay safe.